Home carbon monoxide poisoning is more common in the winter because everyone's trying to warm up. The problem is the symptoms are so similar to the flu and you can't smell it, a lot of people aren't detecting it until it's too late. Winter time means turning on the fireplace and lighting up the stove, but many people don't know that this is letting carbon monoxide into their home. All the different symptoms of headaches, flushed skin, um, weakness, and uh, altered level of consciousness, these can all lead to eventually death if untreated. Most appliances are safe if used properly, but heating and air technicians say it's important to take care of your gas appliances because even a little bit of dust could cause overheating and lead to carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, you can change your filters regularly because a dirty filter is a plugged uh, evaporated coil, which makes everything work harder. So um, then the second thing you can do is maintenance. That's the thing that we do. Carbon monoxide can slowly suffocate you, but a few simple steps could protect your family. The fire department recommends putting carbon monoxide detectors around your home to warn your family if the poison is in the air. I'd have multiple. I'd have at a minimum at least one per floor, and I'd also put them close to your furnace um, and close to your sleeping areas because that's where you really want to know. You can find carbon monoxide detectors in most hardware stores. Officials say early detection could be the difference between life and death. If you think you're suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning, the fire department says to get out of your house immediately and call 911.